Alabama and less than 24 hours ahead of Republican contender Donald Trump's arrival in Mobile. Local Republican lawmakers are in Huntsville for this evening's Freedom Gala and that's where WFF 48's Jonathan Radford is right now. Jonathan? Yes, Kim, we're here at the Davidson Center at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. U.S. Senator Richard Shelby will receive the Freedom Award and he will also speak at tonight's event. But no matter what's said from the podium, Republican candidates, President Donald Trump's visit is sure to stir up some controversy or maybe even start a conversation. Let's take a look at some of the video. The real estate mogul's campaign rally has already been moved to a bigger venue from the city civic center to the Lad People Stadium, which holds about 50,000 people. U.S. Representative Mo Britt says Trump's early season will likely uh, be because Alabama will hold on to or excuse me, Mo Britt says that Trump's early season visit is likely because Alabama will now hold its presidential primary on Super Tuesday. With our primary having been moved up, I think you're going to see a lot of presidential candidates coming to the state of Alabama. We may not have that much of an influence in November because we're going to vote Republican. That's pretty much a given. But we have great influence on who the Democratic nominee is going to be and the Republican nominee is going to be. Well, Alabama is one of seven states in the South that will hold their primaries on March 1st, leading some to call it the SEC primary. Now, the event here gets underway in about 20 minutes. We'll, of course, bring you an update coming up on WAFF 48 News at 10. For now, I'm Jonathan Radford reporting live at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Jonathan.